Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by partial fraction. The given expression is not a rational function because the degree of the numerator is 4 and the degree of the denominator is 3. After expanding the denominator, we get x cube. So the degree of the numerator is more than the degree of the denominator. So first we have to do long division and convert into rational function. Then we apply the partial fraction. So now we are going to expand the denominator. So numerator is x power 4 dx and denominator this x if I multiply it will become x cube plus x then minus 1 if I multiply minus x square minus 1. On rearranging this we get x power 4 dx whole divided by x cube minus x square plus x minus 1. Now long division we are dividing x power 4 by this denominator x cube minus x square plus x minus 1. So if I multiply with the x we get first term x power 4 then minus x cube plus x square minus x. We have to change the sign for subtracting. We have to change the sign of all the second term. We can cancel x power 4 and minus x power 4. In the remaining term x cube minus x square plus x. Now we need x cube. So for that if I multiply 1 with the first term x cube, we get x cube as a first term here. Then with that 1 we have to multiply the other terms. And finally minus 1. Since we are going to subtract, we have to change the sign of all the second terms. Now we will cancel x cube and minus x cube minus x square plus x square plus x minus x. Finally, the remainder is 1. After doing the long division, this is quotient, this is remainder, this is divisor. So, we write integral q plus r by d into dx. Quotient is x plus 1. Remainder is 1. Divisor is this entire term, but instead of this entire term, you can write as a factors x minus 1 into x square plus 1. So x minus 1 into x square plus 1 into dx. Now let's split this into two integration. First is x plus 1 dx and second is dx by x minus 1 into x square plus 1. Now let's take this as i1 and i2. i1 integration is first term is x square by 2 plus x plus c1. But in i2, we are going to apply the partial fraction. So we have the factors x minus 1 into x square plus 1. Now we have a quadratic, non factorizable quadratic expression. Already we have discussed a rule. When we have a non-factorizable quadratic expression, we use bx plus c. So here it will become a by first factor x minus 1 plus bx plus c by x square plus 1. We have to take LCM. It is x minus 1 into x square plus 1. So here a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x minus 1. Since both the denominators are same, we are going to equate both the numerators. So here 1, this 1 is equal to this entire numerator. So let us write here a into, that is 1 equal to a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into x minus 1. Now let us choose the value accordingly to find the value of the constant a, b and c. Let us take x as 1. If x is 1, this equation becomes 1 equal to, when I put 1 here, totally it is 2a and this part is 0. From this, we get the value of a as 1 by 2. Now, x is equal to 0. When x is 0, so 1 equal to, when this is 0, we get only a plus and this part will become 0, only c will be remaining and this part is 0, minus 1 is remaining. So totally minus c. We know a value of after substituting 
you can get the value of c from this let's write minus c directly and i will carry this minus c to the other side so c equal to and this one will come to this side so half minus one so c is equal to minus half so we got the value of another constant c now let's compare the coefficient of x square on both the sides so comparing coefficient of x square on both sides on left hand side we don't have x square term so it is 0 and here it is a x square so coefficient is a and in the second term it is bx into x is bx square so b is the coefficient now let's put the value of a as half here so 0 equal to half plus b so b equal to minus 1 by 2 we got all the three values we have to substitute that in the term where we applied the positive fraction rule a by x minus 1 so it is half by x minus 1 plus b x plus c b is minus half c is minus half whole divided by x square plus 1 now we are going to divide this part into two integration so first we do this half constant we can take out and here also we have dx so it is dx by x minus 1 in second term minus half integral x by x square plus 1 dx again minus half integral dx by x square plus 1 the first part is nothing but half log mod x minus 1 here we have to take substitution t is equal to x square plus 1 and dt will be 2x dx so we have minus half but we have only x dx so this 2 will be carried to the other side as dt by 2 so integral dt by 2 by t then minus half and this is direct formula tan inverse x plus c so totally this is half log mod x minus 1 minus 1 by 4 log mod t minus 1 by 2 tan inverse x plus c so now this is half log mod x minus 1 minus 1 by 4 t we have to replace which is x square plus 1 minus half tan inverse x plus c now we have to combine with the other part the other part is x square by 2 plus x plus c1 so totally let's write i and here we put a constant c let's take here it is c2 and finally we put a single constant c therefore i equal to x square by 2 plus x along with that these answer half log mod x minus 1 minus 1 by 4 log mod x square plus 1 minus half tan inverse x plus c